All right. Um, we got to start on a, a little bit of a touchy one here, Gatos. There is new video out, of course, and this is kind of the reason you have a story, about a, a man and his encounter with Phoenix police that is causing a lot of concern. And I haven't found one person yet who's watched the video and thought the police behaved appropriately. Well, as you know, I start on the side of police, and then I work my way back. I've said it before. I start neutral. And uh, so I watched it. So why don't we do this? Okay. Let's go through it. Okay. What exactly happened here? So can I start from the Please, very beginning? go ahead. So there is a Circle K, all right? And a Circle K employee called 911. This is early in the morning. Yeah. Uh, looks like 8 a.m.-ish, I think, is what it was. Yeah. Uh, and says... There's a guy in here causing problems. He won't leave the store. We want him trespassed. A white male. Okay. Okay. Police show up. Sure enough, there's the guy who won't leave the Circle K, right? So they are escorting him out of the Circle K. Buddy, you got to go. You, you, you know, they want you gone. You got to go. They didn't drag him out. No, no. They're walking him out. They didn't toss him through a window. While they're walking this guy out, he mm -hmm. says, points across the street, says, that guy assaulted me. Okay. Who's he pointing to? He's pointing to a black man walking uh, through a parking lot. Okay. Now, now why would the, the police should probably not believe anything that that guy says? Not if, only did they believe him, they left him, <laughs> jumped in their cars, drove across the street to the black man. They didn't put him in the car? No. They didn't handcuff him before No. Him. Okay. As so far they, as we can tell, they didn't even write him a formal trespassing notice. Once he said, that guy assaulted me, they let him go and went across the street. Okay. What happened next? They pull up and uh, um, interact with, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the term interact with, uh, Tyron McAlpin. Um, the video, there's surveillance video and body camera video. So you can see kind of the big picture and then you see the, the video from the, the officer. Right? They pull in two cars, pull into the like, parking lot. They come screeching up, right? Because he was walking, this man was walking on the on the sidewalk and yeah. then and then started to walk into the parking lot. And yeah, they and, pulled kind of in front of him. And so they pulled in front of him and he turned to like walk around behind the vehicle. Right. The police officer gets out, the first guy gets out, and within a second, second and a half. Immediately starts engaging. Looks like he's throwing punches, trying to grab him. The other officer comes in. They tackle them. They're tasing him and eventually put him in handcuffs. Yeah, they were tasing him because he, um, I think it was his right arm. They say he was resisting. Of course, his. Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm yeah. just going to explain it. His right arm was underneath him. Right. It was, and they would, yeah. And uh, they wanted his right arm behind him. Yeah. And I don't know if he could have pulled his right arm from underneath him because, because of the weight of or, the officer. Or. And here's the part. You're that, ready for the kickers? Can we hold the kicker off for a second? Okay, I'll, okay, I'll hold the kicker okay. off. Okay. Is there anything else we need to explain before you say that? Because most people will lead with what you were just about to say, and I'm glad we didn't lead with what you were just right. about to say. Um, I uh, I would say that 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 is what the video shows. Okay. Eventually, he is Mr. McAlpin yeah. is is arrested, uh, and he is facing felony aggravated assault and resisting arrest. Okay, can I tell you what the headline now says? Ready. Right. Um, Phoenix police beat up black man who's deaf and has cerebral palsy. Yeah. So uh, they're yelling commands at him. He's deaf. And they didn't know that. No. No. They also didn't attempt to ascertain anything. They didn't know he had cerebral palsy. He also has cerebral palsy, which they say could have also affected his limbs being able to bend and, and move the way they wanted him to. Here's some audio, okay? We'll take a listen. Hey, buddy, stop where you're at. Okay, so that's the cop. Mm -hmm. And this was the most bizarre part of the whole thing for me. Go ahead. That, what he just said and how he said it. Okay, I, I want to play it again. Go ahead. This officer is still in his car, mm -hmm. and his window is down. Yeah. I don't think he stopped the car. I think he was still almost driving. Like and still getting, rolling up. Yeah. Okay. Fast, by the way. Yeah. And, and saying that. He's completely calm. Hey, buddy, stop where you're at. Okay. And you're right, Bruce. It didn't take more than two seconds for the cop to grab this man. Yeah. And, uh, you know... I'll play the rest of it. I'll play the rest of it. But I, I'm asking this question. No, please. How can this officer be so calm 
in his car while it's still moving and he's getting ready to stop short. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. And literally, it's not two, eight, six seconds. It's like a second. It's... And he goes right after the man. Flip of a switch. He he hands hey, on. Hey buddy, door open. Car stops. Door opens. Boom. Right? And he jumps on him. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's play the whole thing. Hey buddy, stop where you're at. Door opens. One boom. That's how quick he's on. Let's let's listen to it again. Hey buddy, listen stop for where the you're car at. door to open. All right, you gotta, you don't talk to. Him. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't talk to him. I'm trying to get the thing here. Hey buddy, stop where you're at. See. You can hear the door open mm -hmm. and then the ruckus, okay? Yeah, when Listen. you hear the, the ruffling, that's when he's throwing punches yeah. at, the, just, at the man. I want everybody to hear that. Yeah. Listen to the door crack open and then how quickly he's on this guy. Hey, buddy, stop where you're at. Let's see. Taze him, taze him, taze him. Tase him, tase him, tase him. Okay. Yeah, that's when the second officer All shows right. up. So, so first, when, even when, if this guy wasn't deaf and has cerebral palsy, let's take that away. He didn't have any time to even comply with a command. Can I be honest? Because I always start on the side of the police. I would fire both of these police officers instantly. This is not the expectation I have no. for policing. And and here's part of why. And I, this is what you're going to get from from the police, because I believe that that these are these are just two cops who who shouldn't be cops. And the good cops out there are listening to this and they're watching this and they hate this more than anybody. So the um, guy's facing aggravated felony assault for getting his butt kicked by two cops. So when the cop jumped out of the car and grabbed him, mm -hmm. I don't think that this man had any clue that they were there for him. That something, that, that, yeah. He was walking like nothing was going on, and he was just. He wasn't walk. running away. Like he was going to walk around the car. Yeah. And it's not like he, he ran. He thought they were pulling up in no, the parking lot. He, he, that's what he thought. And so, w when I see this, I think what you also see is him trying to defend himself. The guy's throwing haymakers. That's the why. Cop. That's why he's defending himself. I would There's too. There's nothing else, officer. You can do. I would too. Yeah, and I'd get a few licks in. I, I don't think <laughs> that if if you're, an, that's almost the normal reaction because you don't have any time to react. You've just been jumped on for no reason whatsoever. And then let's just go. Let's 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 go back just a second. Yeah. The you have the white guy who they let go, and I don't know if this has to do with racism. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the reason they were called to the neighborhood. There. Right. 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 Yeah. They let the white guy go. Let him go. But what do you what what do you guys what do you think he's telling the truth? Why do you think he's telling the truth? <laughs> You're this, literally trespassing a guy who Circle K called nine one one on. He points across the street at a random black guy right. and says, that guy assaulted me. They say, you can go. You can go. And they race and across they the just, street and jump on him. I, I don't it get it. It is unacceptable. I, I don't get it. The Phoenix Police Department is under a microscope because of this DOJ report. And everything they did in this video is exactly what the DOJ report is accusing the Phoenix Police Department of doing. They literally became an example of it. And here's something we left out. They lied on their police report. They lied. In the police report and testimony, they said they thought he was going to run away from them. No. No. I he took a so. fighting stance. He did. After he got hit. That's why. And, yeah. But I, but I brought that up too, Bruce. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. And wouldn't I brought comply that up with to, commands. But I brought that yeah. up because you don't have time to, to comply with anything yeah. if you're literally blindsided. You, because that's really what happened. I don't even know if this guy knew who was hitting him. I mean, in, honest to God, Everything I don't know. Everything I see in the video is somebody who is trying to defend themselves from two guys who just jumped out of a car and started throwing punches. It, it was terrible. It was terrible. I, 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 they, listen, I watched, I watched everything that I possibly could. I read everything that I, I watched it again, and. Because you know that you can always look at these a different way, or maybe I didn't miss it. The video starts late, or something right, like that. This video doesn't start yeah. late. So did this guy? Did this guy shoot anybody? Was he armed? Did he? Did do they know that he hurt someone before? Nothing. The answer is no. Nothing. The answer is no, and they just jumped Nothing. this guy and assumed that he was guilty. 
Uh, it's and and to tase him. What was it? Three times. He was down. And and by the way, when I said I'd fire both cops, um, the one cop that was on top of him kept punching him in the back of the head. I mean, you guys want to get fired? Apparently, you do. It was violent. Uh, unnecessary. Unnecessary. And and I don't believe that's what the Phoenix Police Department is all about. I don't believe that at all. I think you're always going to have bad cops. And these are two of them that shouldn't be a cop anymore. Well, I think here's the problem that other folks have. And I can't be the only one. If there isn't a video, I'm supposed to assume that everything went right. Because, gee, every time I see one of these videos, I look at it and go, the hell are you doing? Well, that's why they have body cameras. Exactly. And Phoenix police, they were one of the first police departments to make sure that yeah. there were body cameras on officers. Thankfully, we need them everywhere. And a, but but and a, this a one, lot of the these, body camera A fell lot of off. these body cameras will also protect the officers. No doubt, against false claims. Right. But the body camera fell off on this. If we didn't have the surveillance video, you wouldn't be able to see the entire picture of what happened. It is wrong. Phoenix I, Police, wrong. Uh, and and the, the least, I know this is going to sound weird, the one thing that we really don't even need to talk about in this story is that he was deaf and had cerebral palsy, because it almost doesn't even come into play here. It, does, right. it, it, it had it, been it, 10 it, seconds where they were telling him something, yeah. and he wasn't doing anything, and they fit, you, you're still not going to figure the guy's deaf or whatever, or that, but but he didn't, have, he didn't have a second to even react. Police officers are trained to de-escalate. These two guys showed up to escalate. I don't know why. I want them fired. I have no problem with I that. I don't know why they did that. Thanks for watching Outspoken with Bruce and Gatos. Tap to watch more from KTAR News and click the button in the middle to subscribe.